Hey, hi, how's it going? Today we're gonna do some math, why? Because math is fun. I'm gonna show you how to compare and order numbers up to 1 million, 4.2c. Let's start with the very, very basics. 27, 30, 15, just stop right there, okay. I have three numbers. It doesn't help when they're scattered like this. What helps is if I put them on top of each other according to place value, right? So 27, 15, and 30 would look like this. 27, 15, and 30. Notice that the ones place value is on top of the ones and the tens is on top of the tens. It makes it a lot easier. Now I can do it from least to greatest or greatest to least. Let's just do it from greatest to least. We gotta find the greatest number. You're gonna wanna start in the biggest place value first and figure out which one's greater. The two, the one, or the three. That's easy, it's the three. That's the greatest number. I'm gonna write it. I'm gonna write it to where you can see it. I'm gonna write it and mark it out. What's next? The two or the one. Well, the two is bigger than the one, so next is 27. I'm gonna mark it out. What's last? 15. That's an easy one. Let's do a harder one. So what if I had 27,109, 18,905, 19,607, and 27,099. Let's say I have these four numbers and I need to put them in order from, do you wanna do greatest to least again? Sure, wait, no, this time let's do least to greatest. Here's how you do this. You're lucky if you're taking a test and the numbers are already placed on top of each other according to their place value. If they're not, do it. Like literally rewrite it so it is. My ones are on top of the ones, my tens are on top of the tens, my hundreds are on top of the hundreds, all my commas are lined up, my thousands are on top of the thousands, and my ten thousands are on top of the ten thousands. Do I start over here in the ones place? No. You're gonna to wanna to start in the biggest place value going to the smallest, because it just makes sense. Remember, we're gonna do least to greatest. Okay, we're gonna do small, smallest to largest. Fewest to most. Let's start in the biggest place value, that's the 10,000s, right here. Smallest. Two, one, one, two. We all know that one is smaller, so let's don't look at the twos. Not look at the twos right now. Let's just look at these ones, which is actually an 18,000 and a 19,000. So, because these are both a one, because there's both a one there, let's go to the next place value. There's an eight there and a nine there. What's smaller, the eight or the nine? Well, the eight is. So right away, the 18,000 is smaller than the 19,000, so here's our winner. That's the smallest number. I'm gonna put a one next to it. That way we know it's the first one, okay? Let's go back. Let's go back, all the way back to the biggest place value again. I don't care about this one anymore, because that's done. I'll put a little X over it. There's a two, there's a one, there's a two. Obviously the one smaller, this is the next smallest number. Wait, or this is the number that's big, this is the number that's next in order. This is the smallest number, this is the next smallest number. We're getting bigger, okay, we're getting bigger. We're done. Okay, how does this work again? Go back to the biggest place value. There's a two there, there's a two there. They're both the same. So go to the next place value. There's a seven there, there's a seven there. They're both the same, so go to the next place value. There's a one there and a zero there. There's a one there and a zero there. Zero is smaller than one. So that's the next biggest number. So this is gonna be the next biggest number. And now lastly, this is our biggest number. And that's true because 27,109 is bigger than 27,099, which is bigger than 19,607, which is bigger than 18,905. So now they're in order. So if I had to rewrite it, I could. I would write this number first, this number second. I just put them in order from least to greatest. They have to be on top of each other according to their place value. The ones are on top of the ones. The tens are on top of the tens. The hundreds are on top of the hundreds. The commas lined up. The thousands are on top of the thousands and the 10,000s are on top of the 10,000s. What if we need to compare numbers that are side by side? We just have two numbers. 
So we're going to compare them. Let's start with an easy one, then get to a harder one. We got to figure out which one's bigger, which one's smaller. We're going to use the greater than, the less than, or the equal to sign. This is obvious, right? But here's how you do it though. Once again, you start with the biggest place value, which is the tens and the tens. Inside the tens, there's a one. Inside the tens, there's a one. Go to the next one. Inside the ones, there's a five. Inside the ones, there's an eight. Eight is bigger than five, so 18 is bigger than 15. But what happens if you have bigger numbers? We have 101,506. We have 101,516. Once again, go to the biggest place value. Okay. This has a one in the hundreds thousand. This has a one in the hundreds thousand. They're the same, go to the next one. There's a zero in the tens thousand. There's a zero in the ten thousands. Go to the next one. There's a one in the thousands. There's a one in the thousands. You're getting the idea. But here's how I like to group it together. This is the ones period. This is the thousands period. I like to kind of do it by chunks. So like, let me show you what I'm talking about. That's a hundred and one thousand. Well, that's a hundred and one thousand. That's taken care of, those are the same. Let's go to the next place value. That's 500, that's 500, those are the same. Let's go to the last part. That's six, that's 16. 16 is bigger. So I know that 101,506 is smaller than 101,516. Or 101,516 is bigger than, greater than, more than 1,100,000. 000. What? 101,506. What about this? Okay, a little different. Kind of. Like I said, go to the first place value. And here's why I chunk it. If I was to go to the one there and the nine there, I would think, oh cool, nine's bigger than one, it wins, it's bigger. But I didn't chunk it right. Here's why, that's 99,000. That's 101,000, right? So. Do it by the periods. That's the ones period, that's the thousands period. That's the ones period, that's the thousands period. That's 101,000, that's 99,000. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather have 101,000 than have $99,000. Because that's 101, it's bigger than the 99, it automatically wins. 101,000 is greater than, sorry, 101,506 is greater than 99,999. You can have multiple greater than, less than symbols. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Four is less than six, which is less than 10, which is less than 99. You can write that, that makes sense. Four is less than six, six is less than 10, 10 is less than 99. You might see problems like that. Let's do the opposite. Let's do greater to least. Uh, 73, 173, is greater than 49, which is greater than one. That works, you can do that, it makes sense. Here's what doesn't make sense. Yeah, 100 is greater than 15, but 15 is not greater than 99, let's just not do that. So the two things you should have learned today when comparing and ordering numbers up to 1 million, is when you have multiple numbers and you gotta put them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least, Place them on top of each other. The ones on the ones, the tens on the tens, the hundreds on the hundreds, the comma with the comma. When you're comparing two numbers, when you're comparing two numbers, look at the chunks, starting from the greatest to the smallest. That's 27,000, that's 31,000, 31,000 is bigger. Hope you have a great day. Hope this helps you out. There's gonna be more of these. Hope you like them. Goodbye.